Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Uh, so yesterday afternoon, my son Timmy um, sent me a picture of my grandson uh, of a little shirt. My grandson Gideon, he's three, but he's a big guy for three. And uh, it's a little t-shirt. And uh, it said uh, Mighty Warrior on it. And um, he said his wife had bought that for my grandson a few months ago. Uh, my, my grandson Gideon and she didn't notice because it's you know gray letters on gray on a gray shirt so she didn't notice it said Judges 612 so she noticed yesterday and she looked up Judges 612 and uh this is what it says uh, I think I got it memorized but I want to say it I want to read it make sure I get it right it says uh Judges 612 when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, that's my grandson's name, he said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. So the shirt said mighty warrior, and then uh, it was a letter to Gideon, my grandson. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and later, you know, I didn't think about it at the time. I was like, wow, that's awesome, you know? And uh, I really, you know, I thought it was a cool little thing. You know, God does these little special things for us, you know? And, um, but later in the, in the day, I remembered earlier yesterday morning, I was really burdened about a situation that's going on with a loved one of mine. And I'm thinking of all ways I could fix it. And I just, I just felt like the spirit, Holy Spirit, God was telling me to just let him take care of it. It'll play out. And, and I was seeing like how it's going to play out in the favor of my loved one. But you know how we are, we just wanna fix things, especially when someone we love is really hurting. And it was really, it was really bothering me. And I said, Lord, I said, I need a, I need a little miracle today. I need something, just, you know, I believe, but help my unbelief, you know what I mean? And, um, and then I thought about that, wow, he gave me a little miracle today. <laughs> and, uh, so that night I was sharing the story with my wife and I said, yeah, I said, uh, I said, the funny thing is I asked the Lord for a little miracle and she's like, you tested the Lord. And I said, no, I didn't test the Lord. I asked my dad for a favor, you know, and she made a good point. We're not to test the Lord, but I think the difference testing the Lord, you know, Jesus said, you know, we're not to test the Lord and Old Testament tells us we're not to test the lord but i think testing the lord is like being prideful saying lord you better do this or i'm not doing that or yeah if you're god do this but you know the bible says um you know god is our father jesus and saint paul referred to him as abba i believe if i'm not mistaken the hebrew word for abba is like equivalent to daddy it's papa it's like a very uh very intimate word you know it's not like father, it's like dad, papa, pops, you know, it's like that. So the way I see it, I just asked my dad for a favor. And, you know, Jesus said, if one of your sons asks you for a fish, would you give him a rock? And you're evil. <laughs> How much more would our perfectly good father give us things we ask for? So I know my dad loves me. And again i wasn't testing him if he didn't do a miracle i wouldn't have been mad at him i would have just figured though you know it's his will you know jesus asked god the father when he knew he had to be crucified for our salvation he's like dad if there's some other way please take this cup from me but not my will your will so that's that's the attitude it's all the heart it has to do with the heart god I love you and I know you love me. So if you can help me out, Dad. <laughs> but not my will, your will, because you know what's best. God the Father knew what was best. He knew Jesus had to die for our sins. So later last night, my other grandson was over. And it's funny, these are two little tough guys. I mean, Gideon, the name Mighty Warrior, fits him. 
and he's like just a strong little kid <laughs> one day he's running in his diaper like full blast and he ran into the glass door because my wife had it so clean it looked like it was closed and he went flying back like three feet he gets right back up with a bloody nose and opens the door like it's nothing <laughs> just a rough little guy when uh when my him and my other grandson i, I think you heard me uh my nickname for him when they're running around in their diapers they got their little toy guns i call them sniper and di snipers and diapers <laughs> i think i even had a little shirt I was selling snipers and diapers but uh, they're my little snipers and diapers those guys I love them dearly and last night Jack was feeling a little sick and he cuddled up with me to watch uh, you know an Asian kid and his dad you know running from dinosaurs on YouTube and uh, it was such a blessing you know because I miss when my, my my little kids were little and they would cuddle up with them they're all grown and got kids of their own but it was a blessing that I was able to hold this old guy and he snuggled with me you know and I was thinking, this is how God the Father sees us, no matter how tough we think we are. You know, I think I had the toughest guy on the planet on my show. I don't know if you've seen the show. It was Adele Comstock. He's the author of American Badass, and this dude is a badass. <laughs> this guy's a former Delta Force guy. He was actually in Mogadishu. If you've seen the movie Black Hawk Down, where the Rangers are surrounded, outnumbered like 10,000 to 1. Um, and, the, the, you know, as tough as the Rangers are, I mean, they're probably the most elite. They are the most elite infantry force in the world. They look up to these Delta Force guys like they're gods. <laughs> and if you pay attention to the movie, there's a few elite warriors in there. These were the Delta Force guys that went in to kidnap the terrorist leader. And uh, he was one of those Delta Force guys. This guy is tough as nails. I mean... These guys are the baddest of the bad. And uh, in addition to that, he did like black ops, secret black ops for, you know, these secretive government agencies outside of the military. And now he works as a mercenary and uh, has a security company. You guys are tough dude. And I had the pleasure of meeting him and talking with him and on the phone. And I mean, this guy is cool as heck. But as tough as this guy is, to God, he's just a little baby in his arm like my grandson is. <laughs> and and when we realize that, that we can go to God and just ask our dad, you know, it makes it a lot easier to get through this life because life is tough, you know. And, um, and I just want to say no matter where you are in your life, I heard a song this morning coming in by an old Benny Hester song, God Ran to Me, and he starts off singing, you know, Mighty Warrior, um, nymphing in God, awesome Lord, you know, all the true names of God, who he is. And he said, you know, the only time I ever saw him run was when he ran to me, put me in his arms and held my head to his chest. And he was singing about the prodigal son because then he goes on and says, my son's come home. And, uh, you know, read that story, the prodigal son. The father allows us to have free will and leave. But when we come back, he runs to us. He literally runs to us, you know. And uh, he restores the years the locusts have eaten. So run to the Father today. He loves you. Ask your daddy for mercy, forgiveness. And um, if you need a miracle, ask him. But remember, not our will, his will. And now we know his will is that he loves the little children. And he loves the babies born and unborn. So do me a favor. If you're buying or selling real estate, please go to realestateforlife.org and support a pro-life real estate company. And you will get an experienced, professional, Christian, pro-life realtor to take care of all your needs. Anything to do with real estate, buying, selling, moving, lawyers, anything, please, please go to realestateforlife.org. God bless and stay Catholic.